some packages from far away are starting to roll in, along with some stuff I'm ordering more locally, so I have parts immediately available for near-term projects. The first item is called integrated circuits, which could mean anything. Oh, oh it's a module. Oh yeah, this has eight push buttons, LEDs, and seven segment displays. I thought this would come in handy, just in general. It has a TM1638 chip on it, so that gives a couple of data pins here for an interface, and there's Arduino libraries available. So for just a few IOs, a quick hookup to get some input-output stuff, I thought that would be very handy. I've got this other PCB I made a while ago with eight LEDs and eight buttons and eight potentiometers. And these all have their own discrete header pins here, so there's no drivers needed and you can directly hook them up to anything without an Arduino or other controller. So I guess whatever's needed at the time, if you only have a few pins available, or if you need fancier displays, or you need potentiometers and something quick and easy, options are available. This one says sensor drum. So let's see what it really is. Oh, now I remember this and I know why they're calling it sensor drum. And these are 27 millimeter diameter I ordered. There's different ways people say this. I'm going to go with piezo. These are piezo elements, and if you put an audio signal here, you can generate sound, or if you apply a force or pressure here, you can generate a voltage. I'm looking at maybe triggering electronic drums with this. Maybe I'll hook it up to a teensy, and I have 10 of these to work with. I also ordered a bunch of smaller diameter ones just to have options, so that'll be for the future. And then there's this. There's a PCB project I'm working on that I needed some parts for. And this is the fastest way for me to get them, even though it was still later than expected. The shipment was held up, but I kind of don't remember everything I bought. So let's dump all this out, see what there is, take inventory. Okay, I think it'll be easier if I just categorize this stuff and simplify it down. For example, there's like a bunch of resistors, a bunch of LEDs, all surface mount. So let me organize this and I'll be back. Okay, I wanted some more test leads. These kind of alligator clips, I have tons of them going back decades. And of course, they're falling apart. They're getting brittle with the plastic, rubbery stuff. And of course, they're losing connections up near the clips because they tend to just crimp those down. They don't solder them. So yeah, it's just a bare wire folded over, crimped down. I'll have to get the iron on that and make it more secure. And these are banana plugs that are stackable, so you can plug extras in, and they have gravity hooks on it. So these are relatively thin. I don't know the current rating offhand. They don't feel like nice silicone. Looking for something cheap and effective. So if I plug this into a power supply, or even maybe a multimeter jack, and they can be stacked together for more connections, a couple of places, they don't go together as smoothly as the more expensive ones, but either way, you plug those into power supply and then hook them onto something. So if there's a couple of wires on a breadboard sticking out or on a PCB, this is just a way to get right up there or do it the more robust way. Again, just creating available options. And I have an excessive quantity of surface mount resistors and capacitors, depending on the value. Some of them, like maybe 1K, I just got a whole lot of, because I'll use those no problem. There's 
just so many of these things because I'm always doing projects and now my stuff is all over the place so I have to restock. Red, amber, yellow, and blue 1206 service mount LEDs. And that's to go with these green LEDs I already had. I don't know where I got these, but these are much easier to do surface mount hand soldering than something like the 0603 LEDs I've been using. So this will be for upcoming projects. AP3012 regulator, which I've used before on PCB projects. So anywhere I need a boost regulator with, where's the part? All that just for this. SOT235, I believe, is the package name. So it is kind of small to work with, but it's doable by hand. And I use it for boosting, let's say, 5 volts up to 12, or 3.3 up to 5, things like that for small PCB projects. I got some somewhere, don't know where, so I had to order some. Which is also why I have about three hammers, five of each size screwdriver, etc. I never know where I put them. Here's a couple more op amps and 555s because again, don't know where I put everything. And here's a surface mount and through hole version of the 4060 binary counter IC. I wanted to do some prototyping on a breadboard and then commit a design to a PCB with surface mount to make it smaller. And the reason I particularly wanted the 4060 binary counter, it has a built-in oscillator, or you can still use an external oscillator. So being a binary counter, of course, it's basically a bunch of flip-flops strung together. So if you have a main oscillator you set up, by tapping into the various outputs, you're dividing the main clock down so you can generate different frequency tones for audio circuits, or you can flash LEDs at varying rates, all from the same main clock source. So an upcoming project real soon to do with this. So I took away most of the stuff, just a few token packages here. This is a pretty good selection of things. Even though it costs a lot of money to order from DigiKey in the first place, but especially to get the minimum quantity for free shipping. I do need the parts, I will use them all, including restocking for test equipment, especially since I recently got that power supply from Banggood, some more Arduino things to play with and give more options for quick hookups, a couple of new future projects with these 4060 binary counters and these I will use as drum trigger piezo elements. So once again, Patreon support has really helped out with purchases like this. Thanks for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Check back, see what I end up doing. I'll see you on the next video.